No single act or decision justifies declaring a leader outstanding, but specific actions can provide a snapshot of a person's body of work. My Leadership All-Star nominations for the first half of 2016 have all shown clear vision and the ability to motivate. Here they are. Governor Jerry Brown. He gave drought-stricken Californians a call to arms. I'm calling for a collaborative effort to restrain our water use. I'm also setting in motion uh, uh, easier water transfers. Residents responded in a big way. Water usage has been cut by one quarter in the last year alone. Irene Rosenfeld, who challenges people to take risks and think outside the box. Too many people think it's okay to keep their heads down, to fly below the radar screen and not make waves, especially in a challenging job market. After turning around Kraft Foods, Rosenfeld now heads Kraft's spin-off, Mondelez International. Pope Francis. Journalists worldwide have praised his openness, his humility, and his more tolerant and compassionate approach to the issues of the day. Since taking over the papacy, Francis has chosen to carry out the Maundy Thursday rites of washing and kissing the feet of prisoners, the elderly and disabled people. He also took the step of declaring that women would officially be included in the ritual. Healthcare CEO Joe Almeida. The biggest challenge of any CEO who is facing with significant changes in the marketplace is to ensure that our, our leaders can see around the corners. After a highly successful tenure at Covidian, he's now rejuvenating Baxter International. Australian-born Indiana University President Michael McRobbie. The world has not seemed this perilous for 70 years. By increasing the number of IU students who serve and study abroad, we provide future leaders in our country who are globally literate. McRobbie's worldview led to many changes at IU, among them far more overseas study programs and a restructuring that included the creation of three new schools. And finally, GM CEO Mary Barra, who believes in mingling with the troops even if it means getting doused in the ice bucket challenge. So, let's do it. <laughs> These leaders have many different qualities and styles, but they have some things in common. All think big, have a vision, and are able to motivate people to execute it. That's why I call them all-Stars. <laughs>